All right, how many times do you get to see multiple snakes together? This reminds me of the garter snake video I did. But today, now that spring's coming back, we found three beautiful, anybody know what that snake species is? Pine wood snakes, that's right. So these pine wood snakes are a semi-subterranean snake species. They, uh, this guy's kind of tied itself around my finger. This reminds me of the Cuban and old video I did, the brown and old video, where I had three of them at one time and I filmed them all three. These right here are called pine wood snakes. They're a small slender species of snake. He's right there in the grass. I'm gonna go ahead and let that one go and just let y'all see these right here. So basically it's an orange colored snake. This is full grown. They don't get any bigger than this. They do musk, so they do smell quite pungent. Um, they eat small insects and smaller lizards and stuff like that. As you can see, it's flicking his tongue right there, and that's him just detecting his environment. Um, they are a relatively common species here in Florida. The pine wood snake is a non-venomous snake species here in north central Florida. It also is through the whole southeastern United States. They live in a kind of pine scrubby habitat. They uh, get most of their moisture from their prey atoms that they eat and they eat or drink the morning dew as well. Um, him flicking his tongue like that right there is him just trying to detect his environment. Um, I found these three together. They uh, are probably getting close to breeding time here in the spring. So they're kind of sticking together right now. Um, they're a beautiful orange coloration. One of the smaller snake species we have here in Florida. A lot of people are familiar with the ringneck species. Well, this is pretty closely related to the ringneck species. So the crown snake, the pine wood snake, and the ringneck snake are all about the same um, size and have basically the same habits. They're a semi-subterranean species. Um, they're non-aggressive. They, I've never seen one of these bite. In fact, they're not good candidates for captivity because their prey is so specialized. Um, the types of insects and stuff they eat, it's just hard to get um, enough quantity to keep a snake like this sustained. So would not recommend trying to keep a snake like this as a pet, but um, they are very beautiful and the best thing you can do with any wild animal anyhow would be to just let it go. When I was a child, I remember my father finding a yellow rat snake in our birdhouse. He told me about the circle of life and through time I learned about the balance of our ecosystems. Every day a new adventure, a new creature, Shows like the crocodile hunter. It became my goal to catch every species of animal possible. Then YouTube came along and gave me a platform. Now I can share with my subscribers. Thanks for your support. It means a lot to me, the Florida Wildlife Guy.